Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle, and I've just returned from South Florida. So those of you that were wondering why I wasn't posting videos lately, I was able to attend a very special uh, graduation at uh, Nova Southeastern University, which is down in Fort Lauderdale. And as I, uh, as I was attending that, I took the opportunity to go to uh, Swap and Shop, which is a large flea market uh, in Fort Lauderdale. And I was able to pick up some reels, so I wanted to preview with you some reels that I purchased, talk a little bit about purchasing reels at flea markets, and uh, show you the upcoming projects that we're going to have. So, uh, first to start with, none of these reels cost more than $15. So, that's the first point. You want to make sure that you have a price range as you're out there uh, working with fishing reels, uh, looking for them. And then secondly, none of them has any major problems, which is also important if you're looking at the reels, you want to make sure that uh, they are repairable or that parts are available to repair them and that uh, they're not missing any pieces or parts. So let's just take a look at some of these. This first one is the 3600C Ambassador. It's a short frame, narrow frame as, composed, as compared to say the 50, uh, 5000 series, the 5500, so you can see that it's less in diameter uh, and a shorter carriage, which makes it great for uh, flipping some uh, baits for bass. This one's got a little bit of a, a burring hum to it, and I think it's just neglect. I don't think that there's been any service on this wheel in a while. It seems to me that it's uh, oil and lube should fix this, but it's moving fine and everything checks out. When you're working on a reel like this, make sure you tighten down the drag to test that to make sure that the uh, the drag is operational as well. So we'll do that one. That's a 3600C 30, Ambassador. Then I picked up the Kmart Special, and this literally is the Kmart Special. It's uh, a Sport Fisher 35, uh, 350Z, and uh, you know it's a Kmart Special because it's underneath, underneath it. Any problems, we turn it to the Kmart Corporation. Uh, sport fishers were pretty popular in the day. I'm not quite sure <coughs> who uh, who manufactured them and uh, even where they were manufactured. My guess at this one is probably about an eight, a 1970s, 80s reel. Cost five dollars to me uh, from the uh, flea market. And the um, problem with this one is I think it's going to be minimum. It always it just catches here on the anti-reverse and it should be catching at various stages along the way. I believe there's a friction clip in there that's uh, worn. Uh, we're going to take this one apart. We'll show you what the reel is made of. We'll show you how to <coughs> address that uh, problem. Next one up is some of my favorite reels. Uh, they're Daiwa. And, uh, I bought two uh, GS reels, the 13 and the 15. The, th the uh, 13 is uh, just kind of struggling. It's it's tight and it also uh, has a little bit of a hum to it. I'm thinking that one's dirty. <clears throat> We're going to go take that one apart. And then a slightly bigger brother to that one with a broken bale, and I believe I have the bale to replace this, uh, is the GS15. And this one uh, turns tough. You can see it's pretty tight turning. This one's just a matter that it hasn't been lubricated. I'm certain of that. All the gears and everything work, so uh, we'll go ahead and do the servicing on that. So the, the Gold Series 13 and 15, they were two for $25. So uh, I'm just giving you the pricing so that you know as you go out to flea markets what the, uh, the pieces are. Also, when you go to the flea markets, try and take a look at uh, a pricing service like eBay is a good reference point. Do a, do a uh, query on that particular reel, see what you could buy it on eBay for. Oftentimes that will give you leverage when uh, having the conversation with the uh, seller and sometimes you'll be surprised. For example, this is a Carmen number 41 that was made in Japan probably in the 60s. Again, fully operational. You want to test the bail for sure. And make sure that your, your drags are tight. Again, not missing any pieces of parts. No broken parts like the real foot and the like. This one was a $5 reel and I was surprised on eBay when I did my uh, off to the side research on this one that these reels can sell for up to a hundred dollars and that the lowest priced one on eBay and probably would be in this category because this is missing an awful lot of paint so the condition would be fair uh, but on eBay this one was selling for thirty dollars plus shipping so 
sometimes you just get surprised and sometimes you just get lucky. Uh, next one up, uh, I don't know why people ignore this one, but this is a Garcia Mitch, uh, this is a Garcia 9000, kind of like the afterward, afterwards one of the uh, the 300 series, not a Mitchell, Garcia, uh, made in Japan, around the same time as the, um, the pen uh, Silver Series and the Daiwa Silver Series. It's a nice reel. It's got a little noise to it, but you would expect noise like that. Again, we'll take this apart. We'll see what's going on underneath, see if any lubrication can help in the process, and um, get a lesson to be learned about the Garcia 9000. And then finally, one of my absolute favorites. This is the uh, Daiwa uh, BG20, the Black Gold Series. That has a three ball bearing reel. Uh, this one was $15. So the, the the seller originally wanted um, 25 and we had some conversations and one of the things I noticed as I was evaluating the reel was that the handle knob very very difficult to turn it almost needs to be wrenched in order to turn it I think that this one is just going to free up with some uh, some uh, WD-40 or other uh, penetrating oil I've never seen them where they don't uh, don't work well uh, or free up uh, after using that, but more importantly, I just I just like the reel. It's a solid performer. This one, uh, by today's standards, would be in the 50 size class. Uh, even though they call it a 20, it's a bigger reel. It lines up well with, say, a Pen Pursuit uh, or a Pen uh, Fierce 5000 in size. Uh, it's got the three ball bearings. It, this one is just unbeatable. So we'll uh, we'll work on that handle. Again, we're going to take it all apart anyway, as I do all the reels that I buy from flea markets. I'm going to show you what's on the inside of it, how to lube it, and how to service it, and how to get it out there back into play again. So uh, so that's it. We've got a, three Daiwas. We've got the, the Gold Series and the Black and Gold. We've got the uh, Carmen, number 141, an older technology reel. We've got the Garcia 9000, which I think could probably just put a line on and go fishing today, but we're going to take it apart and see if we can quiet that down a little bit. we got the Kmart Special, more of a YouTube project than anything. Reel's not worth much. I paid $5 for it. It's about worth $5. Uh, but everything is working, except that that's an annoying anti-reverse uh, anti click when it only comes back to here. And uh, we'll see what's making that uh, miss the other stops in there. And then finally, that uh, uh, Ambassador 3600. Uh, we're going to take this apart and see why we got that little bit of a bur uh, burring wine in there. So uh, I hope you uh, enjoy a little bit of the information on how to purchase in flea markets. I hope you stay tuned to watch as we take all of these reels apart during various uh, videos. And uh, if there's a video out there that you would like to see, uh, let me know. And uh, if I have the reel around or if I see that reel at uh, some of the flea markets that I venture to I'll uh, make sure to put it aside and uh, and do that video for you so again I appreciate you for watching and for all your support if you'd like to uh, see these uh, please subscribe if you want to uh, uh, let me know please enter comments in terms of the products and fishing reels you'd like to see me do again this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle thank you for viewing